News coming in. We've got an exclusive word in from JNU Students Union President Aishi Go. She is the young woman who you saw bleeding from the head yesterday. She says she will be recording her statement with the Delhi police as soon as she is in a better condition to do so. Aishi, remember, was also seen in a video that's been put out purportedly by the ABVP and uh, others. We have that video here on India Today as well, where she is seen along with some masked thugs as well. Aisha has further added that they are planning to file a combined FIR against ABVP members. She says she could recognize the faces of the students who attacked with rods as part of the thuggery that took place on the JNU campus yesterday. Moshmi is live with us still. Uh, Moshmi, Aisha Ghosh. Uh, you know, who's become the face of the violence that took place yesterday, her bleeding, uh, you know, message yesterday, unforgettable uh, in terms of what it really conveyed about what happened on campus. She's going to be recording her uh, statement with the Delhi police shortly, and she says she can recognize virtually all of the masked men. Right, Shiv. So what Aishi said, that was a very telling picture, a very disturbing one, and that shook the entire country uh, as uh, her head, uh, she, she was bleeding from the head and she was speaking out that she cannot connect what she is uh, saying and what has really happened. So, uh, you know, there are three FIRs that have been filed, uh, one from the ABVP, one from the left, and uh, the other one from the JNU administration. So, uh, as you said, she would be corroborating what has happened but it is very important to know that there are allegations and counter allegations from both sides so uh, you have an incident that happened at 4 p.m and then another incident that happened at 7 and as as uh, as uh, the jnu administration is also trying to say that this was an ongoing fight that really started on january the 3rd and and and, and we all know that the, the way the battle lines were drawn uh, regarding the hostel fee hike had never really stopped so a very strong undercurrent even now there is a very uh, very very uh, the disquieting calm that prevails in the university even as uh, you know there are battle lines that have been drawn and there is a lot of uh, pent up emotions that have been um, uh, b that have been under kept under the carpet but one will have to wait and see what she actually co corroborates because uh, the version that we got from the Periyar hostel also says that the there was an uh, attack early Earlier on at 4 p.m. So multiple attacks and multiple narratives is what the Delhi police will have to investigate and corroborate. But yes, that telling picture of Aishi uh, really injured, really hurt, a head injury, and and that very disturbing picture of masked goons on a rampage in the university is what is uh, unnerving and, and 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 completely it is on the Delhi police to finally you know uh, walk the talk and uh, and. And there is a lot of action that uh, it has been found uh, wanting that needs to be done. Thanks, Mosmi, for that. Uh, so, Aishi Ghosh will be recording her statement with the Delhi police. Let's hope many of those masked thugs get identified and arrested without further ado. They belong in the lockup.